What's up everyone? My name is Marie and um, welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So I don't know if it's too late to be wishing all of you a happy 2020 because <laughs> it's January 7th right now. Um, but since this is my first video of 2020, I'm still going to wish you all a very happy new year. <laughs> um, let me know if you have any resolutions for 2020. I don't usually really do resolutions but um for this year i don't know maybe doing more of what i love and what makes me happy and um worry less stuff like that i mean i think that's pretty relatable but uh anyway moving on to the build so for this build we're doing a cafe in brindleton bay i didn't really know what to build and what kind of style I want it to be, but I just really knew that I wanted to uh, build a cafe on this lot because I think it would be just, it would be such a cool spot to just go and hang out. You know, it's on the, on the dock, or is that how you say it? On the dock <laughs> or in the harbor or something like that. I just think it's a really nice spot and uh, it has the best view uh, over the harbor and just the sea. And I just like the vibe of this, but I wasn't sure what kind of style I wanted it to be. So I guess I, I just started building and I, I did start over a couple times. I didn't, I didn't um, record all of that, of course. But um, yeah, I just, I started over a couple times cause I didn't really know how I wanted it to look. I did try to take inspiration from the surrounding buildings, you know, uh, across the street you know you can see a couple of buildings there but I don't know it just it didn't really work out and um, so I just started building and um, then inspiration struck or hit me or <laughs> however you want to say that I don't know I'm sorry I don't know English I'm Dutch give me a break <laughs> um, but anyway um, I got inspired by the uh, Moschino windows and then it hit me that I wanted it to be more industrial looking. And so that's the vibe I went with. I was imagining that maybe this could have been um, an old warehouse of some sorts and um, a, a warehouse that's like that broke down or uh, got ruined or something, but um, they used like some leftover they used like the leftover parts of the building and um, renovated it and turned it into a cafe so that's um, that's the vibe I went with for this and uh, it started really I don't know it started to look cool at some point and I just went with it it's pretty small um, but that's what makes it, I don't know, that's what makes it cute. And that's, I don't know, I just really like building small things in The Sims. The bigger lots, or the bigger builds just don't inspire me. I really want to work on that because I really want to get better at building bigger buildings and houses. And well, I'm also just not very comfortable building um, on community lots. So that's something I want to work on, but uh, I think I'm getting better at it. And I really like how this turned out. Oh, by the way, something that really frustrates me about this lot is the, um, the, the default or default or how you say that, um, the terrain paint when you like remove the flooring, it's dirt, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Why is it not wood like on the rest of the dock? I mean, it makes no sense that there's dirt and I don't know that frustrated me I think it took me about well I want to say I think it took me about half an hour or 20 minutes at least to figure out um, what flooring I wanted to put around uh, the building on the outside I just I didn't know what to do with it and it frustrated me <laughs> so much I think at one point I even just I just stopped playing the game I stopped building and I and I um, I, because I just didn't know what to do. And it frustrated me so much because all the wood floors that we have in the game, they don't match. They don't match the, the wood that's on the dock there. There is no swatch that looks similar to that. And so it's either gonna look like you tried to match it, but it didn't really work out. So now it looks awkward or you're just gonna use 
something completely different that makes no sense either, but um, at least it doesn't look like <laughs> you tried so hard. So I ended up going with that, uh, with the brick that's on the ground right now. You can see that. Um, it's, it's, I did go with like a gray color because I didn't want it to be like the red brick or something because that just looks ugly. Um, but this makes no sense. I mean, <laughs> how could there be bricks on the dock? I mean, I don't think that's how it works. I think there's just wood and then underneath there, there's there's the water, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I really don't know how that would work. EA, please explain it to me, <laughs> but that's fine. I just, uh, it's a game, so it doesn't have to be all that realistic, but you know, that's the end of my little rant <laughs> right there. Um, so here you can see me working on the outside uh, of the build. I tend to do the outsides first before I move to the inside. Um, so, uh, well, the build really started to come together for me when I uh, put down those, um, those planters, those flower boxes or flower pots, plant pots, <laughs> I don't know the word for that. Um, but I, I used a few of those from the uh, debug catalog. And I, cause I mean, obviously there is no like grass or something to um, put flowers and plants on the dock. So I just, I just put down a lot of those debug plant boxes or, or planters. And that's really, the vibe I was trying to go for. I really like the look of that. Um, so now you can see me moving on to the inside. I think this is actually the first time I'm building a cafe. I don't think I've done that before. I built a bar once in Brightchester and then I did build the Foxbury Commons, but those are actually the first two community lots I've built in years. So <laughs> this would be the third one because for some reason, they um, they scare me a little bit. I don't know. It just doesn't inspire me as much, and uh, I end up just staring at my screen, not knowing what to do. But for this one, I just I just went with it, and I just accepted that I didn't really know what to do, and I started building. And um, well, I inspired myself by just starting to build and just going with the vibe that um, that just uh, that just popped up or that just happened. And I'm really happy with the with the result, with how it came out. And um, I was really set on using those couches from, I think they're from Dine Out. I, I really like the look and feel of that. I When I go out to like a cafe or go out for dinner or something, I always like it when there's couches like that in the in the restaurant or in the or in the cafe. I don't know, it just, it gives a cozy feeling and I like sitting on those because it's so comfy. Um, so I decided to just put those down and I really like the look of that and then I added some um, some chairs as well. Now I do realize that those chairs do um, block one seating spot on the couch. So I ended up deleting one of those chairs so there's at least one couch that can fit two people in there. Um, but I, I don't know, I just really like the look of it and um, I really like the look of you know, the furniture that doesn't necessarily match all that well, because um, it just looks like they got it from, um, I don't know, they just they just got it from the flea market or something. And they just, um, they bought some furniture to furnish the place, but it's not all that expensive and it's probably secondhand, you know? I just like the, the more like, you know, the, the industrial vibes, the like, it's not all brand new kind of stuff, but then again, these bath this bathroom, for example, does look very modern and renovated because it is a renovated warehouse kind of thing. But so there is like the bathroom and stuff that looks really new and renovated. But at the same time, they did use um, some used furniture, some used rugs on the floor there. Um, I don't know. I just really like the, the the feeling of those those vibes like mixed together. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Um, so here I'm moving on to the upstairs area of the bar which I wanted to uh, add some more couches to that. That's more of like a hangout spot for like when you're with a group of friends at night, just hanging out there upstairs. Um, and I did add some more tables with bar stools. I really, really like those higher chairs um, from Dine Out that fit, um, that the bar stools go with. 
I don't know, I just, I really, uh, I really like the look and feel of that. And then I just added some more industrial looking details um, that you can see me do right now, right here. And I did like make it look like they tried to cover that up by just adding some plants and adding a magazine, um, a magazine stand right there. And just adding some more cutesy little decorations. I don't know, I, the place just really started to come together for me and I, I don't know, I just really like this vibe and I hope <laughs> you do too. Um, here you can see me adding some more decorations to the place. Also, by the way, let me know, I'm thinking of doing a restricted pack um, build because I've never actually done one of those before. But I think that would be a cool challenge for me because I never do those and um, I think it'd be pretty difficult because I'm usually all over the place using stuff from uh, all the packs that I, I don't have all the packs, but I, I'm pretty close to owning them all. Um, but I think it'd be cool to do a restricted pack build. So let me know which pack, and I'm talking about the, the actual expansion packs. So please let me know which pack you would want to see. And um, well, here you can see me just furnishing uh, the little balcony upstairs. And I think we're pretty much nearing the end of this build. Yeah, we're heading on into screenshots. So I hope you like this build. You can download it on the gallery. Um, my username on the gallery is Simmery Sims, and you can also follow me on Instagram. My username is at Simmery Sims. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next build. Bye.